Guppy grass is tremendous. If you're looking for that heavily planted look in a small to medium tank, then this plant makes it easy. You only need a very small amount to get started because it propagates so quickly, it will soon fill out. I'll show you what I started with originally, which was a very small amount in a wee plastic bag from a seller online. They were kind enough to send a free bag of creeping moss, which was really cool of them. But this was all that came. Now I have loads of it in several tanks and frequently remove large amounts to either discard or give away. If you're not quite so keen on the dense look, all you have to do is trim out a wad of it every now and then. You can hack away loads of it and it won't kill the plant. It won't even phase it. What you can do from there is add it to other tanks or give it to friends and fellow fish keepers, sell it yourself or dispose of it responsibly. Due to its potential to spread rapidly, it would be considered invasive in some parts of the world. So we want to discard it in a way that it won't be transported to other waterways by wild animals and birds. One of the cool things about it is it's a low maintenance plant. It's not demanding. It doesn't need high end lights or complicated fertilizer regimes. Most basic setups can support this plant and even have it flourish. It's primarily a floating plant that grows bushy, so maybe not ideal for tanks with high flow rates, but it will send the roots down to the substrate as another way of achieving nutrients. Since it's a fast growing floating plant though, it's just gonna soak up nutrients and nitrates from the water, as well as other harmful substances such as ammonia and heavy metals. So it's great for helping to keep your tank in balance and also for outcompeting algae limiting its development. It's great for egg scatterers to spawn in and live bearers as the baby fryer can immediately seek cover and protection in it as well as graze on microorganisms and the likes of infusoria. Smaller fish then will appreciate it. They'll appreciate its protection, ability to act as a food source and to some degree shade from the light above and shrimp will absolutely love it for some of the same reasons. It's become my go-to in fact when setting up smaller tanks due to its rapid growth rate and ability to sponge up elements we don't want out of the water, offering some reassurance if things are not quite on point. I like it for better tanks since they're inquisitive and intelligent. So the ever-changing scape that the fast growing plant provides adds interest to their environment and gives them somewhere comfortable to rest. It prefers pH of six to seven, but it can go higher. And the sort of temperature ranges of any of the tanks we keep in the hobby will be fine for it. It certainly doesn't require CO2 to thrive. Perhaps a wee bit of liquid fertilization if your water is particularly soft. And in my opinion, just looks amazing. I suspect if you get the chance to try it at some point in your hobby, you'll probably fall in love with it.